Hi, welcome all of you once again to my class. My name is Jewel, and today I am going to take the third lesson of Standard Three. I am dealing with the ICSE syllabus, Cordova Publications. Please like, share, and please subscribe to my channel if you like to hear my further chapters from this textbook. Now let's go to the poem. If I could be an astronaut, the poet wishes to be an astronaut to find a colorful planet. May flowers grow in the snow, trees walk, and fish have feathers. Read about the wonder planet where the poet wants to land a spaceship. Now, the poet wishes to be an astronaut. Astronaut means a person whose job involves traveling and working in space is called an astronaut. So, in this poem, the poet wishes to be an astronaut. to find a colorful planet where flowers grow in the snow trees walk and fish have feathers now read about the wonder planet where the poet wants to land a spaceship spaceship means a vehicle that carries people into space is called spaceship if i could be an astronaut i would like to go to a planet full of colors with flowers in the snow the poet says that if i could be an astronaut i would like to go to a planet with, where there is full of colors the poet would like to be go to a planet where there is full of colors with flowers in the snow where there is flowers in the snow i wouldn't go to venus i wouldn't go to mars i'll find a kind of special place somewhere in the stars the poet says that i wouldn't go to venus the poet doesn't like to uh, he does he, he doesn't want to go to venus i wouldn't go to mars the poet doesn't want to go to mars i i'll find a kind of special place somewhere in the stars the poet wants to find a special place somewhere in the stars a place where fish have feathers a place where trees can walk that's where i land my spaceship spaceship means a vehicle that carries people into space and take a weightless walk weightless means having no weight or appearing to have no weight is called weightless so the poet says that a place where fish have feathers the poet wants to uh, uh, to go where to a place where fish have feathers a place where trees can walk he wants to go to the place where trees can walk that's where i will land my spaceship it is there where the poet plans to land his spaceship and take a weightless walk and take a weightless walk the poem was written by bobby cats now the summary of the poem is is the poem describes the wish of a poet the poet wants to be an astronaut so that there would be a chance to go to a colorful planet or a special place the poet wishes to see the flowers with snow walking trees fish having feathers etc now let's go to the exercise part of the poem an astronaut is a person who dash who travels or goes into space in a spaceship and visits planets and stars so you can write as astronaut is a person who travels or goes into space in spaceship and visit planets and stars you can write both a and b number 2 the poet wishes to visit a dash planet a blue b colorful c silver it is colorful planet now write the line which tells you something that is strange about any flower the line which is strange about any flower is with flowers in the snow number 4 name the two places in the second stanza where the poet wouldn't like to go The poet wouldn't like to go to Venus and Mars. Number five. 
Dash is the means of transport used by astronauts to visit space. A. It is A. Bubble trouble. B. Spaceship. It is spaceship. Number six. Mars and stars are a pair of rhyming words from the poem. Choose another word that would rhyme with them. A. Cars. B. Tree. C. Mat. It is A. Cars. A. Cars. Seventh, what does the poet mean by a weightless walk? By a weightless walk, the poet wants to tell that the space is a place where body weight is not felt. Eighth, the poet wants to visit a planet where trees are able to walk. Why do you think he wants trees to walk? A. He may have wanted to save trees from human beings who cut them b he may have felt that trees would walk to lose weight c he may have thought that trees should walk and go away it is a he may have wanted to ha- save trees from human beings who cut them i hope you understood the poem please read this poem and please like share and please subscribe to my channel okay children i'll meet you in the next class until then bye